Hi everybody, this is Salesforce Jen. Today I wanted to talk to you about a common problem people have with experienced cloud portfolio sites, and that is when you cannot upload a file. This is typically because you're building a portfolio in a developer site or a trailhead playground, which has less storage. As you've uploaded pictures, you will run out of storage. Sometimes I upload a picture and then I remove it later off Experience Cloud. Sometimes I upload a picture, I don't like it. I upload a different picture and you start replacing files. But I haven't gone and deleted those files and they are stored somewhere. And this is what typically takes up space. So if you get this message that tells you you can't upload a file because file storage is used, I'm going to show you how to solve that. The first thing I did was I went to the setup menu in the top right and type in company information. You click on company information and it takes you to this page. This right here shows I have a developer edition org. And if I go to my file space, I am clearly way over the file storage of 100%. Now, how does it let you go over 100%? there's a delay. So when you upload a file, it takes about a minute for it to catch up to itself. And if you've uploaded two or three, you can go over. Uh, I've seen mine go, you know, around 120% and then it stops me. As for this video, I wanted to overload or the storage limits so that I could show you how to fix it. I uploaded an MP3 file. By the time it caught up to itself, I was at 353%. So here's how we correct that. Go back to the waffle menu on the top left and you type in files. When you get to files, it'll bring you to this page. This is all the files in your org. If you're using a developer or a trailhead org exclusively for Experience Cloud, all your files here are gonna be exposed in Experience Cloud. So I should warn you, if you're using an org that has contacts and accounts and of other functionality, where you've uploaded files, they may be held here. So there's a couple of ways you can tell. If this was Experience Cloud only, I know every file here is gonna be related to my, my Experience Cloud org because I am using it for a portfolio. But if I was not sure, I could click on an image and preview it. If I click on e icon, I can see and say, okay, I know that's used in Experience Cloud. So you may have to do that if you have other files that are not being used in Experience Cloud. So one thing you can do when you have a file storage limit is go to files, go to the carrot on the right and look at your options. If you have this delete option here, you can click delete and it goes away. Now don't worry, you haven't deleted anything on your Experience Cloud site because I wanted to show you if you don't have the delete option, for instance, this one, there is no delete option because it's currently being used. So you know that it is used or not used if you have the delete option. So if you're using it for your portfolio, you're not storing other things in your org, then go ahead and delete it if you have the delete option. Now I can go in here and I can delete a and hit delete and it takes a minute to catch up. Now, if I felt like I had deleted three images and that should bring my file storage down, to the setup, type in company information and go back here. Now it does take a minute for a touch up. So right now it says I have used 353% storage. I will refresh that and now it says 352%. Clearly three images didn't do a lot. And typically if you're at 110%, you may have to, to delete more images, but it's always best practice to delete the images permanently that you're not using anyway. But because I know this is directly through this file, I'm going to go ahead and hit delete. I have the delete option because it's not being used in the org. I'm gonna hit delete. And now I can see, since I deleted that large file, my used file space is now 30% and I can go upload images again on Experience Cloud. One thing you can do to avoid this is if you upload an image on Experience Cloud and for some reason you said, I'm not gonna use it anymore, go over to your files and delete it right away. Otherwise they accumulate. I've had this happen many, um, also when you're building in a sandbox, I've had that. So you just have to be very mindful of deleting images you're not using. One last thing is another fun functionality is where it says use file space. If I click view, it's gonna take me to a page that shows me who is using up the, and right now, if I scroll down, I can see that the user 
which is me, has 89% of the file storage. If I go down here, the top users, that's me. So if you're working in an org with several users and your space is just disappearing, you can go see who's doing it because maybe they're accidentally uploading things that they don't need. Maybe they've uploaded a file 10 times because they think they didn't upload it the first time. These are you can watch for. So this will solve the problem and you will be able to upload images again 